so let's go to kafka apache dot org and then uh, download the uh, binary file which is a uh, tar file which is a tape archive file choose the binary version and that should be in the download so if i'm choosing the this one which is my kafka file in order for your kafka to run uh, in your locals as a prerequisite check whether you have jdk java home if your echo is giving you the path of your jdk so so i have one which is jdk 11 uh, if you don't have these install uh, java 1.8 or above and second was so in order for your kafka to run you also need a zookeeper which is going to be your cluster manager so go to zookeeper.apache.org and download the zookeeper go for stable release choose this one 3.7.1 and choose the HTTP and that also gets downloaded. So you will need Apache Zookeeper and you will need Apache Kafka. So both are in the uh, TAR archive. It is simple to actually extract them from the archive format. So just go to your command prompt and go to the downloads directory. So inside C, I'm creating two directory. Kafka and I'm also creating one more directory called test zookeeper okay so I have two empty folders inside my C so put tar and then hyphen xvzf and the file that you just downloaded for Apache Kafka with a full extension and then hyphen C and give the directory where it needs to be copied Secondly, you will have to do the same thing for your Apache Zookeeper. So this will go to test Zookeeper. So it's the wrong spelling. One is uh, Apache Kafka and the second one is Apache Zookeeper. I already have a JDK. Uh, now that I have my uh, Zookeeper extracted i will have to set the uh, zookeeper environment variable so click the environment variable and you will have to create a system variable so which will be like new you give your variable name as zookeeper i have one already set so i'm not going to uh, save this one and my directory will be the directory where i copied these things so which is going to be inside my test zookeeper until this bin and uh, so while you're copying it, try to rename this file so that to avoid confusion. So I'm removing this bin that has got appended in that file name. So copy this file and that will be your uh, system variable for your zookeeper home. Okay, the directory where you have installed it. So you put this thing and I'm not going to give OK because I already have one. So I'm canceling it here. So once you give OK, you will be seeing your directory wherever it got, uh, wherever the zookeeper has got installed. So after you do that, you will have to go to the path. And you will need to have this percentage zookeeper underscore home percentage slash and uh, bin this entry should be there I give okay so these two things are done and then you will have to do two configurations inside uh, one inside your kafka and one inside your zookeeper so inside your kafka so this is your uh, kafka directory so inside that you have something called config and in the config, try to edit this one, double click, it opens it. So, yeah. so inside that, you will have to change your uh, log dot directory. This directory has to be a directory that is inside your Kafka. So what I'm going to put is this, I'm copying this one and slash so i'm creating a directory to log these kafka logs so inside so this is my folder that i created inside that i have my kafka so inside that i have i'm going to have a folder called kafka logs and then i'm going to save that i have put this let's also create that directory see it is kafka kafka 22 3 dot inside that i don't have that directory so let's create that one which will be kafka logs so this this has to be done in the kafka folder and similarly inside your apache zookeeper go to the conf and you have the zoo sample you will have to edit this thing 
you have to rename this one into zoo and after you do that so you have temporary zookeeper this also should be edited so this gets edited into so this your data directory is going to be the directory where you wanted your data so simply put as test zookeeper slash apache zookeeper and inside that you need to have a data so inside this i don't have a data let's create one called data so yeah this should be the setup you can start your apache zookeeper using the command so since we have the latest stable version the command to run that is zk server and yes should be caps so your uh, zookeeper server has to be started first and secondly you cannot run this uh, kafka server from here so you will have to go to the directory where we installed it so previously i installed it in z kafka inside that the actual directory where it got installed so there so inside your installation directory you will have bin and inside bin you will have windows so there you will have to copy paste this command which will this will start your uh, server start batch file and it is going to read the script from the server.properties so hit enter Uh, when you try to hit this Kafka server start dot bat inside the windows and if you will pass the server properties and you and this directory can should not be wrong if you miss this dot dot slash and dot dot slash you will not the the script will not be able to find the server property so this this has to be uh, properly put so that it reads and then your Kafka server gets started I'm trying to create create my own topic so this will be the command to run the topic so which is i'm going to put test data topic big query you will have to run this inside the kafka let's see if this supports creation of topic if it has topics dot bat yeah it has topic dot bat in this directory so yeah I'm creating a topic so it has got created so topic has been created in the Kafka server and then if I wanted to list my server I will have to put boots Kafka topics dot bat list bootstop server and the local host 1992 and if you see these are the topics that I have this is the one that I created recently and these are the ones that I've already created and uh, that's it for this video thank you